Alright guys, just to show you, when we're walking at night, this is the darkness we see. Now the reason why we do so much flash like reviews is, boom, I have light up the path. Isn't this impressive Alex? <laughs> I hope you're having a wonderful day. We are back with another vlog. I'm back. <laughs> How you guys been? It's been a while and uh, from my last video, I want to say a big, big thank you to all of you guys because I read a lot of lovely comments and man, I miss you guys. And thank you so much for all the lovely comments. It's, it's good reading all these nice comments, very positive. It's, it only makes me want to do more videos. And it also reminds me why I miss vlogging. <laughs> first things first, I want to address that uh, some of you guys have commented saying that you didn't get a notification for my videos. Yes, it's a known thing on YouTube, so I am just so happy and so proud of you guys because you guys actually checked back. <laughs> so this is the thing about the YouTube algorithm. When I don't upload a lot, they don't recommend my videos a lot. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for always checking back and making sure that you didn't miss a video. I appreciate that a lot. <laughs> Tonight's vlog, we are gonna do a review for the Olike Baton 3 Pro. Let's start off with the unboxing first. Let's go, come on, let's go. All right, unboxing the Baton 3 Pro. I've always liked the Olike packaging. It always feels like you are getting something very premium in the box. Alright, let's slide this out. And inside the box, we are greeted with the Baton 3 Pro. Whoa. Okay, this is bigger. <laughs> this is a lot bigger than the Baton 3 that I used to have. Now, as you can see, the Pro is a lot bigger, double the size as to compare to the first Baton 3 that I have. Now, if you want to watch a review of the Baton 3, I did one with Alex. I'll leave a link over here. You can go check it out. But you can see size, big difference. <laughs> now, what's the difference between the two of them is that Pro has longer battery life and slightly a bit more lumens. Well, actually, a lot more lumens. <laughs> the Pro goes to 1,500 lumens at Tobo. Other than that, the finishing is the same. The clip is a lot bigger on the Pro. We have Olight's magnetic charger. A little old like pouch comes included in the box as well. And of course, instruction manual. Very useful. Let's get back onto the field and let's test this baby out. So there's this small little valley that I've been meaning to take you guys for a while now, but I haven't had the time. But today, yes, today this is happening. <laughs> and this is like the best place to test the lights because it's total darkness over here. <laughs> and you guys, we made it. Okay, you can't really see the place, but let me use the Baton 3 Pro and I'll show you. Boom! <laughs> Look at this place. Wow. Okay, let me go on Tobo. Tobo! Whew. Not bad for this small little fella, huh? <laughs> this is the Valley 2.0, I'll say. <laughs> now, here at the Baton 3 Pro, it has a couple of modes. We'll start off with the Moonlight, which is 0.5 lumens. To access Moonlight mode, when it's off, hold on to the light. And this is 0.5 lumens. It's... <laughs> it's really... You could see it. <laughs> and then from here, the next mode would be Low, 
which is the 15 lumens. And then if we hold it again, this would give us medium, which is 120. 120 lumens. If we press it again, this is high, which is 600 lumens. To access Tobo, double click on it. And this is Tobo, guys. 1,500 lumens. Now the Baton 3 Pro has a throw distance of 175 meters. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much the distance. Pretty far though. <laughs> now if you're running it at Tobo, it should last you for around two hours. And the thing is, it will not stay at 1,500 lumens all the way. It will gradually drop down to 1,002, 600, and then it'll come back again to 1,005, if it gets too hot. And it does get hot, <laughs> quite fast actually. Oh, okay, 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 it's hot now. Now the thing is, you cannot compare it with like the Seeker 3 Pro, because this, <laughs> this here is a whole different beast. If I put the Seeker 3 Pro on Tobo, look at that, you see everything. <laughs> this is, if you want to watch a Seeker 3 Pro review, I will leave a link over here, you can go watch it. We did a review for this, but uh, I just want to show you a little comparison between the Baton 3 Pro and the Seeker 3 Pro. You can see it's really a huge difference. <laughs> now, here's a few reasons why I like the Baton 3 Pro. It is magnetic charging. Yes, I'm starting to get used to the magnetic charging now. It has this clip, <laughs> which means you can clip it on to your hat, like so. Oh, it works. Wow. I, w I thought it would be too heavy, but yeah, it works. Yeah. And we are talking about a battery capacity of 3,200 milliamp hours, which is huge for a small light like this. So I would say like if I'm going on a hike and I'm putting it on my cap here, I would probably use medium or low. I, I wouldn't go for like the Tobo. I mean, yeah, this is probably the mode I would use for the most part. And of course, if you're using medium mode for the whole night, it would last you 17 hours, according to the instruction and what the manual says. You guys know that I love my Baton 3, the smaller one. The Pro, on the other hand, it's a little bit longer. It's almost double the size. What I don't like about this is that I can't use the Baton 3 Pro on my charging case. <laughs> because the Baton 3 actually has a charging case, which means if you run out of battery, you could put it in and you could charge it. The Baton 3 Pro does not have a charging case, so I can't use it as well. I guess a light like this, you may not need to charge it. Because the old Baton 3, well, it doesn't last very long because it has a smaller battery capacity. Now, I want to thank Old Like for sending me the Baton 3 Pro for review. This is not a sponsored video. However, I'll leave the link in the description below. Use Liner, L-I-O-N-E-L, -L, to get 10% off on this Olight Baton 3 and any other products. If you use my name, you get 10%. <laughs> you guys, take a look at all these old buildings. Now, I'm at Tunling Hot right now and all this, all these old buildings, they're gonna demolish it and they're gonna build new HDBs, new flats. So this area here is going to be renovated. It's no longer going to be this type of buildings. Well, you know, in Singapore, everything is always changing. Everything is always renovating and upgrading. And it was funny, I met up with a subscriber the other day, Tim from the UK. Shout out to Tim, thank you for buying me dinner, a Thai dinner. <laughs> and uh, we were having this conversation, it's about, you know, Singapore ever changing and we don't have like a, a lot of like ancient places or ruins. <laughs> so do you guys remember when I used to complain about all lights color temperature for the light? It's too cool. Well, guess what? For this Baton 3 Pro, I actually asked for neutral white, not cool white. And man, I can tell you it's a big difference between this color. This over here, the Baton 3 is cool white. This is neutral white and the light, it looks a lot warmer. <laughs> Let me show you. This is the original Baton 3, cool white, and Baton 3 Pro, warm, cool, warm, cool. <laughs> wow, big difference guys. This is a bit more warmer, and over here is a bit more cooler. 
you know, I do get some comments on my older like reviews videos and I get the comments like, why am I doing like reviews? Well, I do night adventure. I go out late at night. We always need good lights. <laughs> and that is why lights are very important, especially in my videos. So always get good lights. And you know what? When my subscriber Tim from the UK, he came down, I took him to the valley at night and I was able to provide him and his wife lights so that they can see clearly at night. <laughs> Initially, at the beginning, I didn't understand why Faiz was so fascinated with lights. Now, well now I understand. Flashlights, <laughs> it's addictive. <laughs> oh man, stairs. I hate stairs. <laughs> My poor knees. Whoa. Whoa, you guys. Huh. And remember when I tell you guys street lamps, orange lamps? <laughs> Old place. Do you see why I like getting out and about? Do you see why I miss vlogging? I hate office jobs. <laughs> well, we gotta do what we gotta do. For now. <laughs> a few more months. Just a few more months, guys. I would say by the time you watch this video, I would say October, November, December. And then, and then, I'll be free. I think. <laughs> well, I'll be back vlogging again. When I mean vlogging, I mean like I will be back full fledged on YouTube, vlogging weekly again, like before. <laughs> now, now it's only like when I have the time, I come out and then, yeah, I'll make a video from time to time. <laughs> but it is nights like this that I enjoy coming out, exploring a bit, have a little adventure. Maybe we don't find anything, but it's always good to hike at night and walk and <laughs> get your mind out of the office space or the office politics or the covering your ass or the, you know, emails. <sighs> yeah, I enjoy this. I miss this a lot, guys. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> However, Speaking of adventure, we do have to be a little careful these days because guess what? Singapore, we actually have landslides. There's natural disasters here. Just the other day, Shaq and I, we went out cycling, we went out for a joyride and man, you know the Ulu Pandang Park connector that I always use? <laughs> There's a landslide in between. <laughs> Here's a few pictures that I took that night. It's crazy, right? <laughs> I mean, look at this. Even the road, the PCN, the path, it slides all the way off. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Can you imagine if I was riding there and halfway and then I see a landslide suddenly appear? <laughs> I'll be sliding off to the canal, swimming with the otters there. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you guys. I'm loving the neutral white color temperature from Olight. This is good. Anything 5,000 Kelvin and below, great. <laughs> wow, we have rich under the tunnel. <laughs> yeah. Tobo guys, Tobo. Wow. Not bad. Not bad at all. For a light this small, this bright, impressive. <laughs> guys, really, this is medium and look at the warmness of it. <laughs> I love it. Anyways guys, if you want to get an like, links in the description below. Click on my link, type liner as your coupon code and get a 10% discount. And remember, get the color temperature 5000 Kelvins and below. I love the color of this. So anyways guys, I think that's pretty much it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Please remember to subscribe and leave your comments down below. If you have any questions, give me a like for this video and share my videos if you think this is helpful or if your friends want a discount from Olight. <laughs> I will see you in the next one. You guys keep smiling. See ya! Ooh, Tobo, and it's hot, it's getting hot. It's truly a little bit sad that they have to tear down all these buildings. All the old four-story, three-story flats that used to be here. Now they're gonna tear it down and make new flats, taller flats. As if we don't have enough tall buildings in Singapore. <laughs> By the way, you guys notice? No mask throughout the whole video. 
I didn't even bring one out today. <laughs> yes, guys, in Singapore now, no more masks. <laughs> Except for the subway and the buses. Public transport, taxi, no need. Only in buses, MRTs, you gotta still wear the mask. And the hospitals as well, yeah. Hospitals, you still, if you're entering a hospital, you need to wear a mask. Other than that, everywhere else, mask off. <laughs> Okay. okay, thank you, Uncle. So uh, this is the part where I extend the vlog for my subscribers. But if you're here for the like review, stay tuned because later on, I'll be talking to Alex and I'll be discussing with him more on Olight. <laughs> but first, I need to go for a haircut. Like, ah, uh, my hair grows so fast. Fame Beauty Corner. Hello. Ah, just like that, a fresh brand new me. <laughs> now, time to go meet Alex. What is up, Alex? Long time no see. Whoa, whoa, what? New camera. Uh, what's new? <laughs> Alex, where's your YouTube channel? No, don't ask. <laughs> you got a new camera? No YouTube channel. All the equipment, but no time in the world. <laughs> so you guys know that um, Alex is a O like fanboy. Hmm? Where's your O like merchandise? I thought you always wear like O like logos and all that. <laughs> no, when I work, I work. <laughs> <laughs> I just recently know that he is not just a fanboy. He's actually an ambassador for O like <laughs> for Singapore. Is that correct? Kind of like a volunteer, not an ambassador. He's a spokesman for. Or like for Singapore. Yes. Right? So I got one question. Mm. Why should people buy O light? First thing, variety of lights. Mm. They, got, they literally have lights for everything. Like for every situation. Yeah, everyday carry. If let's say you are maybe in a very, very specific work situation where you have a, need to have a certain kind of light, they probably would have it. And then now they actually branched out into knives also. Knives. Yeah, knives. Yeah, I have a few of those knives also. So they do knives and lights. The lights, yeah. And I, one thing I like about Olight is that each flashlight has different uh, design and color, right? Basically, they can come out with a few specific colors and then um, now they have color temperatures also. So basically, oh, you can yes. choose something between a warm light or yes. cool, cooler color temperature. Yes. I mentioned that the Baton 3 mm -hmm. Pro it's neutral white. Yeah. I like it. It's warm. Mm. Nah, I... <laughs> For the first time, I like all lights lights because it is finally warm. Mm. In the past, they are all cool white. No, not really. Not really. This one, this one, I have yeah. the Baton 3 Pro. It's warm. Normally, if you want something that throws further, you pick something that's a little colder. Yeah, so there's a little bit of contrast and more definition. But warm light kind of makes everything look pleasing to the eye. More contrast. Yeah, there's more contrast. Yeah. Question, do you think that all like lights are overpriced or in the high end or in the low end or is it just right? Because I know that there are flashlight companies out there that, you know, their, their light cost like three over $100 uh, for just a simple tactical flashlight. Yeah. Yeah. No. What do you think about the pricing for all light? I mean, they have lights in different ranges, so basically you can pick something within your price range or within your budget. But like to me, it's like it depends on whether you personally feel if it's worth the price. Like for me, I pay what three hundred dollars for a flashlight or even eight hundred dollars for a flashlight is okay. I find it's okay. They have entry level lights, the mid level, and then the basically the higher end lights. So they have yeah. different options for Correct. the different markets. Yeah, okay. and then they have a very, very wide range. But then there are some lights which are like, you know, um, known for being pricey. Like, but I'm not going to say anything. Other brands. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to talk about other brands. <laughs> One thing I like about Olight is their packaging. Mm. Very nice. It almost feels like 
you're unboxing an iPhone or Apple product. Agree? Mm, yeah, but I prefer actually to me because they used to have the packaging in. They can actually package the thing so you can see. Oh, this is a blue color flashlight. Uh -huh. I rather like the black and white. It's very simple. Now their boxes yeah. are so nice. You know, it's like hard case and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. No, you haven't seen the old school. Old, old, old <laughs> no, school I have not. Old not. Yeah, yeah they not. come in carrying cases. You know, you think you're carrying a gun around instead of a flashlight. Last question. If you were to recommend a flashlight to buy from Olight, what would you recommend? Mm, why, why is it going to be four in the first place? Okay, let's make it easy. Your top three flashlight from Olight. Your top favorites. My favorites. Three okay. of them. Um, I think it would be the Array 2, um, the P Run, the big, big one, not the P Run Mini. I like the P Run Mini also. I like lights, I actually keep my hands free. Uh -huh. And then I probably pick, if, let's say, something that can throw very far, I would probably pick some anything from the Warrior range, the Warrior series, yeah. Okay, <laughs> and you hear it from the Olight spokesman. <laughs> okay, let's eat, let's eat. Food is here. Yes. Alex, where are you taking me? What are we doing here at Bukit Timah Railway again? Hmm? Again. Again, oh yeah. Yeah, again. Yeah, we don't know. We're just hanging out, walking around, man. Today, the lights are all on and you guys get to see inside a bit better and Alex yeah enjoying your new camera yep <laughs> I better <laughs> but this is not about the camera we have to do more lights uh -huh. today's vlog is about lights yeah so over here this is the cafe that I was telling you guys about that um, when we last came here it was closed but I get to show you today Look at that. All right, heading in. Come on, Alex. To the cafe we go. Okay. Hello. <laughs> wow, nice outdoor seating here. Ooh, we even got swings. Uh, no, see on the swing. All right, heading in. 1932 story. Whoa. Oh, it's nice and cool. Look at that. Hey, look. Radio set. It's Play not some radio. music. <laughs> it's a radio set. It's not a radio set. Uh. No? It's a... Cassette player, cassette, cassette. High five. Look, cassette player. High five. High five. Yeah. Ooh, old school TV. <laughs> Wow! It's a cafe and a museum over here, guys. <laughs> Whoa! Look at that! Typewriter! Woo. And look! Old school telephone! This is the old uh, coffee grinding machine, I think. Yes, the old coffee grinding machine. Alex, you want to sit at the bar? Wow! This is where they store coffee beans. Ooh. And then you guys are and a chess board. Wow, look at this. And they have ice cream here. Alex, they got ice cream here. You want to order faster, I pay, it's okay. Um, the, 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 what, what, what's good? What's this? Uh, that's chendo, hmm? green apple yogurt, uh, smoked oolong. Uh, this is the what's that one? That's coriander. Uh, uh, coffee? That's coffee, yes. I'll have coffee, coffee. okay. Alex is buying me ice cream. Thank you, Alex. Hey. Look at all these. Alex, look at all these pots. You never, you, you, you behave like you've never drunk any tea before, you know. No, I have never. I don't do Chinese tea. Bro, I only I... do polka milk tea. <laughs> hey, polka faster. You heard him how many times? Can you just go and give him some stuff or something? Old school cups. Um, what? Chinese tea, Alex? Uh, technically, it's green tea. <laughs> okay, pour it. Show us how it's done, Alex. Like. See? Whoa. It has a very strong smell. Yeah. Very, very strong. Green tea is supposed to smell. Are you sure you want? No, I'm the, I'm okay. Ooh. Hey Alex, drink it! It's too hot <laughs> la, my goodness. <laughs> Alex and I, we are having ice cream and tea at the railway cafe. 
technically you're having ice cream. I'm having ice cream and tea. So, while we are here, Alex, why don't you tell us what do you like about the Baton 3 Pro? Baton 2. <laughs> okay, Baton 3, same size. Okay, basically, what's the biggest difference I feel straight the, away? The clip. Not just the, the clip. The clip is longer. Okay, not just longer and fatter. You look at the knurling, the knurling on the... Oh, the grip, the groove. Yes, yeah. they call it knurling. Okay. So basically, the older one feels a little bit, uh, how you say? Uh, rougher. Rougher. Rougher, rougher yeah. you can see this, the texturing is different. And the and new one is a little yeah. bit more smoother. Yes, and then, not to mention, right, the buttons. The buttons are very different. The new one basically has a bigger button. Yeah. Definitely the lumen count has increased. Optics are also a little bit different, you can see. This one looks a bit more clearer. And then you can see the holes and everything for the LEDs are very, very different. You're so detailed, Alex. It has a more focused beam. This one actually has a slightly more scattered beam, so it's actually a little bit wider. A lot of improvements, uh, you can see. <laughs> A lot of improvements. Wait, wait, it feels roughly the same. So we'll go out and uh, you get to test this. And you play with this. <laughs> I still like the Seeker 3 Pro. You guys, look at this. Let me show you. Now this is from Star Wars. This is from Avatar. This is um, Marvel, Guardians of the Galaxy, Jurassic Park, of course, and Batman. And yeah, Peter Pan. Harry Potter, this I'm not sure. This is uh, Game of Thrones and Transformers. Leave your comments down below, what's new for your city? And of course, the last part, to buy or not to buy. I'll let Alex give his expert opinion. Right? Ah, yeah, wait, hang on. <laughs> well, if you are a everyday carry fanatic, mm -hmm. I'd say get this one. Which one? The new one ah. You can't buy the old one anymore anyways. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna have it on medium first. Okay, let's try it. Okay. This is the Baton 2. Baton 2, 1, 2, 3, medium. Okay. Okay. Baton 3 Pro. Okay, let's have it on medium. 1, 2. Okay, medium. You can see. Very big difference. Okay. I don't know why. Okay. Baton 2. Mm-hmm. Baton 3. You can see which one is floodier. I say the Baton 3 Pro is a lot brighter. Yes. <laughs> I say it's a lot floodier. As well, yes. yes. It's strange, but yeah, it's floodier. Oh. Compared to the Baton 2. <laughs> so the Baton 3 is a lot better. A lot of improvement, I would say, right, Alex? Yes. It's an improvement. Yes. Yeah. Buttons are, button is also easier to press. Mm. You know, let's say I do a normal grip like this, right? Mm. That's how I no normally hold my torch when I go out. It's like here. See, I can just trigger this very, very easily. Mm. This one, okay. Yeah. Oh, somehow or other, the, the new one is easier to press. <laughs> I think maybe because it's the... And Alex, can you size. show, like, can you mount this on your cap? Does it work as a headlamp? To... Hoi, ow! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it does work. And, it does and, work. And if you move your head, will it... Oh, okay. So it's not that heavy, right? Nope. Don't do what I just did, boom, and <laughs> ah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, in general, the whole thing has improved a lot, mm -hmm. I'd say, from the clip. Because when you clip it on, right, you wiggle your head a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel like the light is shaking much. Correct, correct. The longer clip, is, it helps a lot. Yes. The bigger button actually yes. makes it easier to, to trigger press. the light, yes. Yeah. And then it's like, normally, if I say you're holding, you're, used, you're like me, I'm used to holding my legs like that. Mm. Okay, this is actually a very plus. <laughs> Sorry, if I were to throw, uh, uh, if said to say, if let's say I want to keep which light in my pocket more often, I say it is the new one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, if you want to get a Baton 3 Pro, links in the description, description. below, and use Liner yes. discount code. Yes. We get ten percent. His discount code. Don't yes. I think that's pretty much it. Yes. Alex, you want to do the closing after a long time? What the, <laughs> wait, let me adjust my underwear a little bit. <laughs> Maybe the pitch is not right. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and we will see, see you, you in, in the, the next, next one. one. You guys keep, keep smiling. smiling. See ya! <laughs> After a long time, Alex. Yes. After a long time, we hang out again. Yeah, hey, look. What? Hey, 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 hey.
Yes. Okay. It's warmer. Look, it's warmer. I tell you, it's I warmer. Know, even though they say the Sierra, Sierra No, is. I tell you, look, the new one is warmer. I like the new Kelvin. Yeah, no, the CR is, uh, is supposed to be it's supposed to be the same. It's no, 70. No, it's warmer. Look, it's warmer. The new one is warmer. No, you see the bezel thingy. 70, 70. But, but I'm telling come? you, it's warmer uh, and yeah, it's I nicer. Know. I know. <laughs> Contrast 70 <laughs> and 70. But how come temperature different? Oh, yo. When we're walking at night, this is the darkness we see. Yeah, this is the darkness. Alex, I can't even see you. Yeah. It's so dark. I can how see you though. <laughs> now, the reason why we do so much flash like reviews is boom i have light up the path isn't this impressive alex <laughs> Woo. and alex also <laughs> it has become day seeker 2 pro baby. seeker 3 pro <laughs> yeah, <laughs> by the way if you want seeker as well Links in the description below. Go check out Olight. Just buy Olight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. See what you like in Olight. <laughs> you can't bad mouth about Olight, especially with the Singapore ambassador here. No, you can say what you want. <laughs> Nobody, there's no, there's no such thing as a product that will satisfy anybody. Everybody. That's true. Okay. It's literally like, hey, I can accept the flaw. But hey, so somehow or other, I don't find any flaws yet. <laughs> Haven't found anything yet. <laughs> And a night walk with Alex, just like old times. Yep. After the seven month festival. After the oh. seven month festival. Alex. Yeah. Do you think this place is haunted? You want you want to be the one haunting it? <laughs> I have my knife in my bag, you know. <laughs>